Hi, I'm Ian Shepherd. And uh, he's Ian Shepherd from Spring Europe. And this is Perry Tate from somewhere. I thought that was Wolverine. I am Wolverine. No, no, Hugh Jackman. Come on. <laughs> Hugh. All right. Hey. Flow controllers, pressure, resistance, and flow. Both subjects that all subjects that you and I are both passionate about. Absolutely. Um, you're in the flow control business. I'm in the. I want to be in the training side of things, is to be able to teach people how to use these effectively and also to understand them because I think the reason why some people don't have flow controllers is maybe because they don't actually understand them. Maybe they think they only belong on um, expensive systems, but actually you could fit it to a DIY system as easily as you could fit it to a brand system, yeah? Absolutely, and uh, they, these are very versatile. They will go into, they go into system bankers, they go into one-man bands, and yes, go into DIY market. So they're very, very cool. versatile across yeah. the board. Cool. So let's go straight to the punch and say, you know, like if this is a controller, like there's basically two kinds of controllers uh, in the market. And what you've done is made this one a little bit more. Well, this one is a slightly, I hate to use the word, more simplified. Yeah. You know, it's more user friendly. We, For we found... somebody who doesn't understand. Yes. So it's kind of so. like the answer to education is to is kind of dumb it down a bit. To a point, that's exactly like what without, we've done with it. Without yeah. saying yeah. too much. But what we want to do is be able to explain using this one what's going on here yes. so that people can gravitate towards a f the extra benefits that this one can provide. Absolutely. Yeah, because you've basically taken some of the functions of this one out to make it this one. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we've got basically two controllers which are the keys to flow control. But first we should say, what are we trying to achieve, isn't it? Well, absolutely. I mean, what we're trying to achieve with the controllers, it, very simply, is to reduce pressure in a, in a pump system. Yep. High pressure in a system is going to ultimately lead to connections failures. Uh, you're putting an awful lot of strain on the motor, the pump. High current draw, so the battery doesn't last so long you've got obviously a much higher water volume use so you're using more water than maybe you would need to yeah the controller gives you the versatility it allows you to actually control how much water you want for that particular job yeah so if you're rinsing you might want to use more water if it's a, a maintenance clean maybe less water if it's a first clean but the controller is, is giving that ability that ability to match the requirement to that job at hand what yep. you're doing there and then perfect 